All right. I had so much fun doing what's in a worm bin yesterday that I'm going to spend a little bit more time, a little bit more effort trying to get some more close-up footage of things living in um, or my home worm bin. And they're probably a lot of the same things that are living in your worm bins. So I dug down a little deeper this time just to kind of get to more of the older stuff. Oh, sorry. Worm. So should be a lot more interesting. Should be a lot more. Um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is established. So we should find a lot of cool stuff. Let's see what we got. Let's look at some mites and something else living right there too. Let's try and focus. Oh, there we got a good, a good shot on that one. Look at him. He's a little cold. It's nice that I can just move the plate. Huh. Oh, it's getting out of focus. Chubby little guys, huh? There he goes. Let's see what this thing is right here. What are you? You're alive, aren't you? Right next to the other mite. That is the head of something. A maggot, maybe? Where are you going? I can't even see with my naked eye what I'm actually looking at. I'm trying to look down where the microscope is. I can see the white specks, but I can't pick that little thing out with my naked eye. Oh, we got something else above here. Oh, it's another mite down in there. That one above here. Got a couple. Let's try and focus on them. Oh, good. They're in the same, almost the same field of view here. Almost the same focus distance. Look at them go. These are just your basic white mites. I don't know the actual scientific name of them, but you see them in every single worm bed. Pretty cool. This is a neat little microscope. Not the best, but I like it a lot for what I need it for. Let's see if we can focus it. You can see them there with some fungus mycelium. Focus on that mite. There he is. The light on my microscope is a bit intense. It's super cold in here, so these critters are a little, a little cold. They're a little slow. Slower than they normally be, which makes my life kind of easy. Oh, there's something else down there. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a little... Something else. Oh, he went back under. Here he comes. Being shy. Look at him go. Oh, we got something else living right here. Oh, it's another one of those things. 
And we got like a maggot or something crawling in there. So much life. I can't tell if that white thing that's moving is attached to whatever is moving underneath there that I can't see or if it's just stuck on it. I think I found a different type of mite right here. Let's figure out what this is. What are you? An egg of some sort. Seed maybe? It's very, very small for a seed. Hold on, let me try and focus better. Okay. Let's get down close. All right, if anyone wants to guess what that is, leave a comment. I thought it was going to be a different colored mite. All right, I isolated one better. I'm thinking it's an egg or something. It's definitely alive. Oh no, I see legs. It is a mite. It's just a regular red mite. See its legs down in there? Oh, hey little bug. Come back. Oh, I'm touching the leaf so it's hard to get a good... Man, I can't even see that little bug with my naked eye. There he is. What are you? Cute. Two bros. Okay, I can't focus on him. You, come alive. Let's just be too cold. Definitely a mite of some sort though. Really cool to see it this close because he's just a barely a little red. I mean, I can barely see him with my naked eye. He's on a rotten leaf right now. This one fell onto the paper. I think he's actually moving. Nope. There's one. There's a whole bunch. Hey guys. Oh, or even tinier one. Oh no, he's just moving his legs. Yeah, we got one warming up enough to move. Pretty cool. There's the underside of one. One, two, three, four, five, six. What? Insect. Is that white thing alive? No, it's probably a fungus. Red mites, lots of them. As far as I know, there's really, it takes a lot of mites for there to be a problem. So, it seems like a healthy amount. Okay, this is the closest I could zoom in on a a mite. He's kind of buried in there. I mean, you can see, since I'm not working with a flat surface here, it's really hard to get a whole field of view focused. Slightest movement. 
um, messes with things. But I just wanted to see how close I can get, see if I could see anything smaller than mites living in there, because I assume there's all sorts of cool stuff. What is that next to it? Well, there's definitely things moving in the in the water. We'll get we'll get there. Beautiful. Again, I can't even focus on the entire mite. face oh, I lost it I'm in trouble making such small movements There's another mite down underneath him, kind of buried and trapped. You can see his body, see his legs came. Very, very, very cool. This is really exciting. I love this stuff. I'm kind of nerding out. Face. Yeah, these mites are in every every worm bin has mites. I don't want to say every worm bin has these type of mites, but I imagine they do. There they go. Very cool. Back to a worm. Or something. Oh, there's a maggot. I did not see that. I only saw the round thing. Which I don't know what that is. Yeah, but there's the... I'm assuming... I'm assuming that's a maggot. Come back. Oh, there was something really small behind the, there's the body of it. There's its head. Like I said it's cold right now, so everything in this is very, very, very slow. It's got things living on it too. Another maggot of some sort, probably fruit fly. Some more mites hanging out down there. They're kind of starting to warm up, I think, from just me being next to here and breathing on it and stuff. That warm breath is kind of waking everything up. Some of the, uh, Unsung hero of a worm bin, fungus. Hard to focus since it's you know kind of a lattice, a 3D lattice of mycelium here. 
Okay, let me get a little, oh, let me just find an edge. I'll focus on the edge. There we go. See it? Oh, little strings. One of the cool things about fungus is they're closer related to animals than they are to plants. They, um, evolutionarily, they split off animals after the plant animal split. So they're really weird organisms. This one's breaking down parts of, I think, a kernel of popcorn. I think I busted them up in the, the scooping, though. Here's a better look at some fungus on a leaf. So one thing people, a lot of people do know about worms that play with worms, but they actually don't eat a lot of the food themselves. They eat the bacteria and the fungus mostly that's doing the real heavy lifting of breaking everything down. Ooh, that's good. Good focus right there. So the worms are just kind of cleanup crew of the cleanup crew. Um, I've heard that, oh, that's an interesting part right there, that the worms will basically release all the nutrients that are in the fungus and bacteria. And that's what makes worm casting so good. But again, that's just what I've heard. I need to do more research to find out how true that is. Well, that might be a, a worm cocoon right there. I'm going to turn this off, see if I can get that out, whatever it is, and uh, see if that is a worm cocoon, see if I can find out exactly where I'm looking at right now. It was. It was an old worm cocoon. Let's isolate that really fast. That's an old one. They get kind of dark brown when they're, you know, they, they darken as they age pretty much. So let's isolate that really quick. All right. So there is a worm cocoon. And I saw movement. I'm seeing if it'll move again. It hasn't hatched yet. So, let's see how close we can actually get to this. I'm only about 400 zoom right now. Let's go closer. That is about as close as I can focus. It looks like it's cracked or damaged. And I can't quite see if anything is moving in there. Focus a little bit more. No, it's the opposite of what I wanted. Uh, this closer range, even the thickness of the cocoon itself means I can only focus on one part at a time. But that is the surface of a worm cocoon. It's a little rough. Here's the opening that the worms will, sometimes they split, but a lot of times this is, they, this end kind of opens up and they come out of it. This looks closed though, so I don't think this cocoon is hatched. There's the other end. No little critters crawling around on it. And right now I'm kind of focused on the side. 
try and focus on that crack right there. Sometimes they'll open up on the side and the worms will come out sideways. You'll find cocoons that are split. No, I don't think it's actually cracked open. I think it's just an irregularity in the shell. Pretty interesting stuff though. Very, very, very cool. Yummy. Yeah, we are right up on that worm. Trying to get, oh, he's kind of moving. Oh, that was cool. Let's try and get another view of that. You guys see that? Oh, shoot, come on, focus. Look at those spikes. Look at that. When he, when he goes to move, those little spikes come out. Come on, worm, do it again. He's not very happy. That's cool. Yeah, that's how they move, huh? They got little backwards facing spikes on them. Absolutely fascinating. Let me try and find one that's a little colder. This one's getting warmed up. And he's not a fan of my light. Obviously. I wouldn't be either if I was a worm. It's a bright light. Let's get another look at the body really quick. Focus. See the slime coming off him. Just awesome. There's those spikes again. I got a look on one's mouth. That's what I want to see is its mouth. It's eaten. Now I'm going to lay back down and get focused again. It's clean off your mouth. Lost it. Oh, there it is. Oh, but not focused. Dang it. I would concentrate a lot. Looks like a mite hitching a ride on it. Maybe two different types.
There's his face. Sorry for the shaky camera. This is actually really hard footage to get. Cool. That's awesome. Okay, before I go, there's his mouth. There's his mouth. That is a worm's skin. Magnified about a thousand times and focus. Oh. There's a face of a worm. Kind of hiding, you poking out that down there. There we go. Does not like the light. Yep, he's bailing out. Come back, dude. Oh. Oh, there's his mouth. Kind of opening it. Of course, there's a little tiny something in the way. Take a bite of something for me. Nope, I'm gonna turn. Little bug right there. What are you? Okay, bye. Let's see if I can see the spikes again. See where they're at. They're not poking out though. Oh, there they are. Look at that. Some mites hitching a ride. Hold on, let me try and focus on that. I'm going to see the spikes. It's going to be right there. Get real close. There we go. Awesome. Come on. Do it one more time. Beautiful. That very photogenic worm. Man, look at that. You could see him under the skin. And they come poking out. Just fascinating.
Oh, maggots, maggots hopping a ride. There's his face. Ah! Don't eat the camera. Semi close recording, not super close. Let's try and find his face. There you are. Hey, bud. Sorry, I got a bright light on you. Oh, lost him. There he is. A maggot going for a ride. Oh, look, his mouth kind of opens. Pulls his face back in. Oh, what do we got right there? Yeah. Oh, just a piece of debris. Maggots and mites. Kind of getting dragged along. Get on his body. All these segments. Oh, he's crossing under himself now. Another mite. There's his tail. Very fascinating little creatures. This one's running away. That would be two if I was a worm right now. Underneath this bright light, lots of mites just hanging out on him. Can't tell if they're stuck to him by choice. Or not. Oh, there's a good view of the spikes. Seems like the spikes are mostly on the underside of their body. Okay, this most of these worms don't have their rings right now. But they've recently had cocoons, but here's one forming back. He's got kind of a tight turn in. Oh, that's a cool little iridescent. I think that's the word. Rainbowy color. Yeah, he's forming back. They must have all just dropped cocoons fairly recently. Very, very cool. Ultra close up. There's the spikes. That is the shot I was hoping for. Wow. Oh, hey. Look at those barbs. So cool. Here's something gross. Casting in the process of being made. We'll just call it burst. It's pretty gross, but yeah, that little ball is a fresh worm casting. Let's see it coming out. Hopefully I don't get flagged by YouTube for this. I don't know how many people have filmed a worm actually defecating. I don't know how I feel about myself filming it, but here I am. Oh, 
Okay, that made me a little sick. And it has a cocoon. Kind of hanging out. Oh, dang it. Someone got texted me. Oh, there we go. Nice and clear. And there's that cocoon and that piece of debris down there. Hopefully that didn't ruin a whole bunch of footage. I doubt it. Okay. So this is worm casting being made. Going on the body of the worm. He's kind of buried himself in there. Oh, another little bug crawling around. super cold they're obviously eating yeah they're obviously eating pretty well because that is a lot yeah so here's the pile I was poking around in that one time I filled him I filmed a mite he was up here somewhere Let's see if I can even find him that might be him right there in the middle of the screen kind of above that rotten leaf and a lot of the, the maggots and other mites you can see down in there. This worm making a break for it, I don't blame him. This is the one I got some good shots of the hooks on. You can see just lots of white mites down in there. I just kind of dug around in here until I found some interesting stuff. Anyway, there is some cool shots, some cool footage. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, again, I'm going to put a link to this microscope in the description i mean if you have 25 dollars to burn totally worth it it's really really fun especially if you're into this kind of stuff